beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Lucy because we're often to you. If you are new, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel. Oh, my, my knuckle just clocked. <laughs> clocked? Clocked? Clicked? Am I okay? Um, and please don't forget to turn that notification bell on because I'm uploading it back to back at the moment. And today's video, we're going to be doing a full reveal of The Simpsons collection. I have absolutely everything from the collection. Um, if you are new to my channel, I do work for Revolution. I have done a video on my YouTube channel, it's called The Secret. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend going to watch that if you want to know a little bit more about my job. I do two days for Revolution and then three days I'm a mental health therapist. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about me just in case you are new because I know there's been a lot of new subscribers recently, so thank you. Um, but yeah, the stuff that I have from this collection and quite a few of my videos recently have all been given to me from work for work, but I am allowed to use them in my own YouTube videos as well. I don't know if that makes any sense. So it hasn't been gifted to me for YouTube. It's been given to me from work. I don't know if that makes any sense. But anyways, we have the full collection. So I've got a bag full of goodies. This bag is huge, by the way. I also have the brush set and then the large palette as well. So today we're just going to be focusing on what is in the collection, prices, close-ups, all that kind of good stuff. And then tomorrow I'll be back with a review video. So let me know in the comments as I'm going through the products, which ones you're desperate for me to try in tomorrow's video. I am going to try and do two videos testing this collection, but I think the next one, because of how chocker my YouTube schedule is at the moment, I think it won't be to like the end of next week that I'll do the second one, but there'll definitely be a review tomorrow of the Simpsons collection of a majority of the products. So let me know what you want me to try. I'll try and do a lot of the products tomorrow. Okay. Anyways, let's just get straight into it. Oh, actually, before I do get into it, I want to tell you what's on my lips. Just in case you're wondering, because I will forget as always, this is the MUA lip liner. This one's in the shade Sincere. And then I have the Revolution Pro lipstick in the shade Cashmere. I need to buy more of these. I bought this one ages ago. And I need to buy some more because the formula is beautiful. So I'm going to pop them away. And let's just get straight into it. So the first thing that we have is this huge bag. Like this is actually massive. Apart from like the big palette and the big brush set, um, everything else in the collection fits in this bag. So it just shows the size of it. So the bag itself retails for £12, which, do you know what? It's actually quite decent considering how huge this bag is. This would be really good if you go on traveling. Um, I know me and Blake have booked to go to Edinburgh um, in December. So this would be really good to put all of like your toiletries in because it's huge. But yeah, we ha actually have like a, <laughs> a bag full of goodies inside here. So the first thing that we have in the collection is the Simpsons Revolution Treehouse of Horror Primer. This is like a slime. I don't know how to explain it. So it's called the Alien Slime Primer. And when it comes out, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it, it feels it feels like slime, but then when you rub it in, it feels like an, a burst of hydration in the skin. And then the more you kind of rub it into the skin, it then becomes like tacky. So it reminds me a lot of a similar vibe of the, and um, what's the, the one, the Milk Hydro Grip, where it goes really, really sticky afterwards. Really reminds me of that. I'm gonna try and put this next to my microphone and maybe you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like, I don't know if you can see it either, but it's a sticky base. And you don't know what I'm like, I can't have sticky things on my hands, so I'm just, wipe some of this off my hand. Obviously on your skin, it's really, really good because it means your foundation is gonna stick to it. It's gonna make it last even longer. So yeah, I think that's very different. Feels like slime, really, really hydrating, but then it has that stickiness to it to really make your foundation last. 10 pound for that one. Um, one that really, really interests me, especially because it's like that slime feeling. It's so cool. Two other ones that we have that are kind of in that slime category are the lip balms. So these are the gel slime lip masks and we have two different scents. We have um, candy apple and we have lemon lime. Lemon lime is my favorite. This is just what it looks like. I don't know if you can see. Oh, it smells unbelievable anyway. I don't know if you can see this it's like a i don't know if it's gonna come up on camera but it's like a slime texture it is it's so unique and so different so that is that one and then we obviously have candy apple which is a different kind of color 
and yeah it smells nice but the other one is definitely more my vibe and again it has that kind of slime consistency and on the website it says that they are six pound each so yeah i'd really recommend the lemon and lime one because it just smells so much better and yeah i just love that it's like a slimy Ness. I think that's just cool. Um, next up we have the little sponge which is so adorable. So this retails for £6. It's the Donut Head Home Blending Sponge. I think this is so cute. So this is just what it looks like. So obviously it is a little kind of donut sponge. I haven't even opened this. Let me just whack this open. <laughs> and this is just what it looks like. Oh, I just think that's so clever and so like diff like not well yeah it's different because you wouldn't really get that unless it was like a Simpsons donut kind of theme collab but yeah I think that's cool as it feels really really soft and um, it just feels like a soft nice sponge <laughs> but I just yeah I just think that's I just think it's clever I just think it's it's funny and then we have the big boys this is a huge palette I think this is probably my favorite thing from this collection because the color story in it is beautiful so this is what it looks like it retails for 20 pounds so it is a bit spinny is a bit expensive and then the inside of it looks like this so you get a big mirror and then this is just what it looks like so loads and loads of different colors like with this and again loads and loads of matte which i'm absolutely loving but with this i feel like there's so much that you can do with this palette I do wish that some of the shades had a little bit more depth, but again, I feel like I just say that all the time. All the time. Um, not everyone wants that, so like I totally get it. But I, I love that there's blues, there's greens, there's oranges, there's pinks, there's purples, there's like darker ones, there's yellow. There's like a couple of shimmers, but a majority of them are matte. So for swatches and stuff, when I actually review the products, um, I will do swatches in my video. So this one, I will definitely be testing in my video tomorrow because it's the one that excites me the most. So that'll definitely be coming tomorrow. I'll do full swatches and everything in that video. So yeah, that retails for £20. And then going on to the brush set next. So this is what it looks like. And I love it because the um, handles of the brushes are meant to obviously look like the like a tree for the like, tree house of horror. Let me see how much this one is. So the brush set retails for £22, which again is quite spending and quite expensive for the gift set. But let's have a little look to see what these are like. So you get six brushes and then this is what it looks like. Oh my god, one just fell out with me. Oh, okay. This is really... Oh my god, that's really soft. Oh, that's so soft. Okay, I really like that one. See, I definitely would use these two, 100%. This one I wouldn't really use that much because it's like one of them paddly brush ones. And then for these three eye brushes, 100% would use like again and again and again and again. And um, so it's only really that one that I wouldn't get my use out of. But yeah, that retails for £22. And then for lips in the collection, we have three, oh my God, <laughs> three different uh, lip kits we have homer we have ned and we also have why do i always forget his name mr burns how can i forget mr burns's name but the first one that we have is homer so this one is the donut head homer lip kit and i love this because it's a matte look of lipstick and a lip gloss there was at one point where they brought out like a a lip, a lip kit and it had two lip glosses in who's going to use that like you need to have like a matte and a gloss or like a lip liner and a lipstick like something that makes sense or like when Soph brought out the lip liner and the lip balm that makes sense but two lip glosses doesn't make sense to me but yeah this is what Homer's looks like so his is the more nude one and the glosses that are in this are kind of like a very like a like clear but it has like a tint that matches this and it's the same for all of them so that one is Homer's and that retails for £8. And then Ned and Mr Burns, one is like a more vibrant red and one is a darker one. It would have been nice to maybe had one, it would have been cool, like a crazy green lip. Would I ever use it apart from for a video? No, but it kind of fits with the theme. I think it would have been cool to have like a really funky one. Um, but this one is Devil Flanders. This is his little lip kit but I think it would have been nice to have something a little bit different than two reds but they are obviously this one is darker compared to Ned so this one is Mr Burns and this is what his just looks like 
and like I said £8 each for them. So I think for tomorrow's video I'll probably end up doing a colourful look so I'll probably go with the nude one for Homer um, tomorrow but again let me know what you want me to do because I will do at least two videos testing this collection so please let me know. We also have something a little bit different. We have two gel eyeliners. So we have a Lisa and a Bart one. One of them is sparkly and the other one is matte and it comes with a little brush inside as well. So it just comes like this with the little brush as well. So Bart is the sparkly one. Hoping that you can see it on the camera. Yeah, you can definitely see it there. Whereas Lisa's is a matte black. I feel like I feel like brands always skip kind of like black gel eyeliner now. I feel like it doesn't really come out as often as remember when we went through that phase where it was coming out all the time. And I feel like I don't really have one from Revolution either. So maybe it's like a good shout for them to to bring it out, but this is the difference between the two. So this one here is Lisa's and this one here is Bart's. Obviously you can see that Lisa's is the matte one and Bart's is the sparkly one. So yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna incorporate these into a look. We'll have to just see what I come up with. And obviously then it comes with the little double-ended brush in there as well. We also have some lashes in the collection. This is a little lash duo. One of the lashes are blue which I'm assuming because Marge is on it, because the Witch Marge Lash Duos, I'm assuming it's, it's kind of like represent her hair, I think. But yeah, for me, it doesn't make... I think that's the only thing that I can understand for it to be blue. So these are £10 for the Lash Duo. So that is just what they look like. If I'm honest with you, if I bought this collection, I would, I definitely wouldn't have picked up the lashes because I don't need any more to begin with. But I also wouldn't really use them, um, especially like the blue ones, unless it was like for a YouTube video. Apart from that, I wouldn't really use them. And then we also have two mini shadow, shadow, shadow palettes in the collection as well. So we have a Lisa and a Bart one. So Bart is the Raven Bart palette. It just looks like this. And then this is just what it looks like I'm thinking for um, for the Lisa and Bart palette, I'm thinking I might do like one eye with one, one eye with the other for my second review video. Let me know what you think because I want to try and get everything reviewed within two videos because there's so much coming out. <laughs> um, I don't want to like take up too many videos with it. And I'm just seeing how much these cost. So these cost £10 each. So that is what Bart look like, looks like. And then we have, oh, I was saying... I was saying it's Lisa, but it's not. Lisa's is a highlighter palette, sorry. Um, it's Maggie. I keep saying Lisa. Um, I didn't even look, to be honest, <laughs> like when I was picking it up then. And then this is what Maggie's looks like. And then it just looks like this. So Lisa does have... No, Lisa? Lisa does have a palette, but it is a highlighter palette. This really, really excites me. So this is the Witch Lisa Mini Highlighter Duo. It looks very similar to Soph. Like if I get Soph's out, this is Soph's packaging and this is the Simpsons one. Like the packaging is basically like exactly the same, like a little tiny bit of a size difference. So I'm thinking, is this going to be the same formula as Soph? Because that formula is beautiful and it's, oh my God, it's so gorgeous as well. This is just what it looks like it is a stunning highlighter and let me just check the price of that as well so that retails for £10 for that highlighter palette and then last but not least we have a face palette this one retails for £10 so the same price as the highlighter one but obviously with this one you're getting a blusher a bronzer and a highlighter so this is just what it looks like and then this is the inside of it so this highlighter in this one compared to the Lisa's um, highlighters is very, very different. I don't know if you can see it there. So this one that's in the first one has got a pink reflect undertone to it, whereas this one is more of your golden champagne kind of undertones to it. So it just depends what you're after, really. And then obviously we have the blusher and the bronzer in that one. And again, 
£10 for that. So that, I think, is everything in the collection. What have you picked up? Because obviously, VIP launch went up yesterday anyway, so I know a lot of my friends picked up things yesterday. So have you picked anything up? Is there anything that you were like, oh, I'm not interested in? And now that you've watched this video, you're like, okay, yeah, I need to pick that up. I feel like the slime, the slime pr primer, I can't say I don't, the slime primer and the lip mask, I feel like this might be something that people have just skipped and just thinking, oh, I don't need the primer. But it's so unique, it's so different. So I feel like that might be one that people might then kind of think, oh, actually, I might try that um, as well, especially because it's £10 and the Milk Hydro Grip one is pricey, like so pricey. So yeah, I'd love to know what you think. Please let me know down below. If you want to join my exclusive Patreon community, um, I will also leave that link down below for you to join as well. It literally starts at a pound a month and it's basically like a, a gorgeous little kind of close-knit group community we sell makeup to each other, we support each other, like we, yeah, it's just, it's just gorgeous, it's just really nice, we talk every day, all day, I just love them to pieces, like, I just love them, um, as well, so if you do want to join, then please do, thank you so much to everyone who has joined already, I think with tomorrow's video, we'll test the big palette, a uh, lip kit, the lashes, um, the face palette, um, I think that should be, oh, the primer, the lip balms, and the sponge, and an eyeliner. We should be able to get quite a lot done in tomorrow's video. So the review that I'll do in kind of back end of next week, that kind of time. Um, for that one, I'll be able to do like the Maggie and Bart palette and compare the two of them and test whatever whatever else is kind of missing, like the mini highlighter palette, etc. So yeah, let me know down below. Do you want me to test the like the face palette first or the mini highlighter palette first? Because I'll just do whatever one you prefer for tomorrow's video so you get to see it straight away. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. I love you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>